गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई सेल्फ अंकित आचार्य वर्किंग वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन अस्मुक गोस्वामी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टूडे माई कंटिन्यूज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ कैलकुलस जी टी यू क्वेश्चन पेपर सोल्यूशन ऑफ जू जून टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो हेयर इज माई कंटेन कैलकुलस एंड टूडे वी सीन जी टी यू पेपर सोल्यूशन जून टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन हेयर इज अ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वन ए फर्स्ट पार्ट फाइंड द इंटरवल्स ऑन विच द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एक्स इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द इंटरवल्स ऑन रियल नंबर्स इन विच द फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग सो लेट सी वी सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल this tally top try to understand this is our function f of x that is equal to x cube minus 27 x now we want to check that this function in which interval this function is increasing and this function is decreasing right so generally if you want to check the interval such that the given function is increasing or decreasing what we have to do in which interval the derivative of this function is greater than 0 right for those interval the function is increasing and for those real numbers where the derivative of this function is less than 0 in those interval the function is decreasing so let's see uh, first of all we find f dash x derivative of this function that is equal to 3 x square minus 27 okay so that is equal to 3 into 3 will be common into x square minus 9 now this is equal to you can see this is x square minus 9 so when we factorize this is x minus 3 into x plus 3 okay now for real number you can see we are finding such interval okay we are making a table so this is interval this is sin of f of x and this is behavior of f now you can see the real numbers when we take our x is between minus infinite to minus 3 when our x is between minus infinite to minus 3 you can see the value of f dash x is positive sin of f of x is positive why because x is less than minus 3 right so that means in that case x minus 3 is also less than 0 and x plus 3 is also less than 0 right because x is less than minus 3 that means x plus 3 is less than 0 and x minus 3 also become less than 0 because this x is the value of x is negative so negative minus right 3 that is always negative so in that case this is uh, this term this factor is negative this is also negative so negative into negative numbers that will become positive so that's why f dash x become positive when x is between minus infinite to minus 3 and as i told you that if f dash x is positive 
in that interval the behavior of f that means this f is become increasing this f is become increasing right now see minus 3 less than x less than 3 that means when x is between minus 3 to 3 when x is between minus 3 to 3 in that case you can understand that x minus 3 right x is greater than minus 3 so in that case x minus 3 is less than 0 right as i told you that see x is less than 3 that means x minus 3 definitely less than 0 okay so x minus 3 is less than 0 and x plus 3 is greater than 0 right x plus 3 is greater than 0 so this factor is negative this factor is positive when x is between minus 3 to 3 that means negative into positive that will become negative number so that's why f dash x is less than 0 in that case right so that's why this is negative and that's why the given function is decreasing okay now when x is greater than 3 right when x is greater than 3 again x is greater than 3 so that is x plus 3 is also greater than 0 in that case and x minus 3 that is also greater than 0 right so when x is between 3 to infinite this two factor both the factors are become positive and you know that positive into positive that is also positive so that's why sine of f is positive sorry this is sine of f dash sine of f dash x is positive and that's why behavior of f that is increasing okay so the final answer is of this question right we want to find that in which interval the given function is increasing and in which interval the given function is decreasing so now you can see in this two intervals minus infinite to minus 3 and 3 to infinite the sign of f dash become positive and that's why the function become increasing and when our interval when our x is between minus 3 to 3 the sign of f dash is negative right and this is decreasing the given function is decreasing so the final answer is f of x is increasing on the interval which interval minus infinite to minus 3 and union you can say union 3 to infinite right so in this interval the given function is increasing and it is decreasing on minus 3 to 3 so in this interval the given function is decreasing right so here we complete the first question let's see next question graph the set of points whose polar coordinates satisfied the condition 1 less or equal to r less or equal to 2 right and 0 less or equal to theta less or equal to pi by 2 so this is quite simple question uh, we want to find we want to just uh, uh, roughly sketch the graph of this uh, function of this uh, polar coordinate satisfied the condition that radius radius is between 1 to 2 and the angle is between 0 to pi by 2 so that is clear that our angle is between 0 to pi by 2 that means uh, whatever the 
sketch of this uh, graph that is uh, definitely in the first quarter because our angle is between 0 to pi by 2 okay and uh, radius that means the distance from the origin we want to find uh, those points we want to find those points in first quadrant such that the distance from the origin that is between 1 and 2 or either 1 or either 2 right so 1 or greater than 1 and 2 or less than 2 so we want to find those points in the first quadrant such that distance from the origin of those points are between 1 and 2 okay so just uh, roughly we want to draw the graph uh, let's see uh, what type of graph we come here we have 1 lesser equal to r lesser equal to 2 and our angle is between 0 to pi by 2 okay right so Graph the set of the question is graph the set of points whose polar coordinates satisfied the condition 1 lesser equal to r lesser equal to 2 and our angle is between 0 to pi by 2. So uh, if you want to uh, draw the graph roughly right definitely our graph is uh, in the first quarter okay and uh, suppose this is 1 this is 2 in this case uh, this is 1 in y axis suppose this is 1 and suppose this is 2 so if you want to draw the graph uh, this type of graph become right this is our x axis this is our y axis so you can see in this in this strip these are the points in the first quadrant such that distance from the origin is between 1 and 2 right so here is the graph you can see this this region this is the region clear so in this question we want to we have to draw this type of graph roughly right this is our y axis this is our x axis and uh, graph the set of the question is uh, again i repeat the question that graph the set of points whose polar coordinates satisfied the condition r is between 1 and 2 and theta is between 0 to pi by 2 so this is the graph right the next question question 1 b which of the following series converge and diverge here is a two series given in this question the first series is summation 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 and the second is summation e raised to minus n in both the series starting from n is equal to 1 to infinite first of all we want to check the first series that is summation 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 uh, now uh, in the in the chapter of sequence and series in the first semester there are uh, so many uh, rules to find out that the given series is converge or diverge uh, basically this example we have to use a comparison test now what is the meaning of comparison test uh, i want to tell you uh, that the comparison test is uh, if summation un and summation v and b are two positive term series now first of all just try to understand what is the meaning of positive term series a positive term series is in that case uh, all the terms are positive in that series all the terms are positive or after some particular terms all the terms are positive so you can see both the series are positive term series right in fact all the terms are positive so that's why uh, the statement of comparison test that is if summation un and summation vn there are two series both are positive term series and if if as n tends to infinite un upon vn right if you want to find as n tends to infinite un upon vn is finite and non-zero that means it cannot be a zero and it cannot be an infinite 
okay if if the limit of un upon vn as n tends to infinite is finite and non zero in that case in that case both the series converge or diverge together that means what if one series is convergent the second series is also convergent and if one series is divergent another series is also divergent so uh, let's uh, check one by one both the series converge or diverge what is our first question summation n is equal to 1 to infinite 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 n square plus 2n plus 1 ok now this is our un right the first series so un is equal to what 2n plus 1 upon n square plus 2n plus 1 now we want to find out vn from this un how we find vn how we find vn vn is equal to you can see what is the maximum degree in the numerator 1 right of n I am talking about the degree of n what is the maximum degree of n in numerator so n so uh, 1 so that is why numerator is n and upon what is maximum degree in denominator n square so generally we choose v n like this right not in all the cases because it is depending upon the example but generally uh, if you want to find out if you want to find v n uh, generally we write down v n uh, like this right so n upon n square so that is equal to 1 upon n v n is 1 upon n now as i told you here we are using comparison test right so you can see both the series are positive term